Hello and welcome to part two of our hand tracking tutorial in which we are going to look at some basic gestures. So it may be tempting at this point to look at artificial intelligence, machine learning, neural networks, um, some form of pattern recognition to sort of calculate what gesture are you using and going through a whole bunch of training. But I'm going to keep this really simple and just keep it to very basic logic. So you can see I've taken from uh, the part one scene, I've now just added a few extra collision detection points. So if I just zoom in on the hand, so I'm going to open up the OVR camera rig by pressing Alt and it opens up everything. So we can see I've got the index, which obviously you want to, oh, that's the left hand, don't the left hand, I want the right hand. So if I come around to the right hand, we can see I've got the index as you saw me do, and I've tagged this right index. I've got the right middle finger, so again it's the same thing, but I've now tagged it right middle. Uh, I've created one for the for the thumb, so I've got the right thumb as well, just there I've got a, a collision detection point on the thumb, and then finally I've got one on the palm of the hand. Um, these are just the same spheres, I've duplicated them, changed the tags, um, and just positioned them carefully. Um, again I will turn the renderers off as as you sort of saw me yesterday do, I just typed, well, yesterday part one, whenever you watched it, um, I have called them call for collider. So if I want to, I can just highlight them all easily and turn off the renderer. So I won't be able to see them. But for now, I think seeing them is important. Um, another little change I have made in the scene is um, I've got the same box, different texture because I've done a different scene. Um, I've also added a canvas. So in the canvas, um, the canvas has been set to world space. Um, I've made it just one by one in width and height, um, so it was sort of visible, otherwise, otherwise it's massive on scene. I've added a raw image to act as just a bit of a background to it, and then a text box. Uh, nothing particularly special. I have had to scale this right down, otherwise again that was also very large. So I've just scaled this right down, um, so it's physically on inside the actual canvas itself. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now is, is create an empty, which I'm just going to call a gesture or gestures, it's up to you, doesn't matter. Uh, I've already started to create a little script called hand gesture, I think that's what it is, simple gestures, sorry. Simple gestures, so I'm adding that script. So first thing I, want, I need to do is a bit, of, a bit of trial and error, a bit of learning, because what I'm gonna do for the logic is, is figure out where these hands are. So rather than, like I said, rather than using machine learning and pattern recognition, we're simply going to measure how close the tips of the fingers are to each other and to the palm. So if I jump into the code, um, the I want to create a few game objects um, because I want to just keep track of them. Now, I'm sure if you've got any previous experience with Unity, you'll be familiar with on collision enter for seeing whether things are hitting each other. I don't want to do that. I want to measure them um, so I can do my own built-in collision detection so I can see how far apart they are. So I'm going to also create a text box. I want to link the text box so I can see the information live in my VR headset. Of course it's not including because I've not got the library yet. It's not a problem, it's a common mistake. So there we go, I've got, using TM Pro, I've now got the link to the text box so I can put some information in. Now all I'm going to do is just measure. So rather than you watching me type the whole thing out, I'm just going to copy and paste it. So I have got debugdata.txt vector three distance. So this is going to measure how far apart two objects are. In this case, I'm just saying the right index finger, how far apart is it from the palm? And I'm converting it to string, and I'm just rounding it off to three decimal places. This is going to let me just work out exactly how far my thumb and finger are away from each other. In theory, I should sort of guess and physically get a ruler out and measure and work that out in centimetres because unity measurements are all in metres, but I want to see the data for real. So if I just save that, come back into unity, this is the other reason I named things cold, so I can easily add them to the to the reference in the code. So if I've got gesture, we now know it's looking for the right index and debug data, so I'm just going to drag the text box across. So it's now got the text box on, so I'm just talk to it. I'm just going to type in cold, so I can see these things. So I'm going to drag the, the right index onto obviously the index finger. So there we go, we can see right now, my index finger, if I bring it down, we can see it's getting really close, so it's far apart, it's uh, about 10 centimetres away. If I bring my index finger in, we can see it's getting to just below 0 0.03, so what, about 3 millimetres away. I can't quite close it fully. Oh, I can, there we go. Um, so I'm going to use that as measurements for my code. Okay, 
So the next bit I'm going to do is use that to actually work out whether I'm pointing or not, whether I'm actually looking at stuff um, or whether my hand is closed. Um, because obviously if my index finger is touching the palm, we can assume that my, my hand is closed. So back into the code, uh, I'm just going to, yeah, I'll leave that on for the moment. Um, I'm going to do a collision detection. I'm just going to say, in fact, what I'm actually going to do is write a collision detection routine because I want to reuse it over and over again. So I'm going to come to just outside of the update function. Um, oops, don't close the bracket. So a Boolean collision, and I'm going to receive a game object, a second game object, and a distance. So this is going to return true or false in how far away something is. Um, so this is the bit of code I've, I've written. It's just a collision detection routine. Basically, it's Pythagoras, but in 3D. Um, and it'll just return true or false. Is it that distance away or not? So if vector three distance and the game object one position and the game object two position, if it's less than the distance I've sent it, then return true. It is that close. Uh, if it's not, then return false. So now in my main function, I can, I can reuse this now over and over. Um, I can just do the my first one, which is going to be if the right index and right palm is less than 0.35, because we just saw on screen my my breach was about 0.3. So I'm just having a little bit of bit of flexibility in case I'm in case I've got a pulley handle, I can't squeeze that that tight. Uh, I'm just going to say that I have a closed hand. So again, let's go ahead and quickly test that, make sure it's working. So we can see that my fingers are still this sort of you know 10 11 centimeters apart as I bring my finger close in there we go my hand is closed so I could use this if I was trying to sort of pick something up you know if hand is closed then pick up is, is true or something like that okay let's look at a couple of other simple gestures so the next one I want to do is am I pointing now if we think about what pointing is uh, our our main three fingers well our middle finger is touching the palm and our index finger is pointing out so that's what I'm going to do. I'm saying if collision, right index and right palm is is this distance apart is false. So if it's not, if I'm not squeezing my hand in and if the right middle finger and the palm is less than that, so this collision is true, um, and my right middle and my right thumb is also of that distance, then I can be saying I am pointing. So basically I'm checking my index finger is not touching the palm, my right middle is touching the palm, and my right middle is also touching the thumb. So I've got my sort of thumb very close to my middle finger. Um, and I think this should be working, so let's go and have a close look at that one. So again, got measurement, just test just to make sure it's not broken anything. Bring my hand there, it's closed. But now if my index finger's out, I am now pointing because my thumb is now close to my middle finger, my index finger's out here, and my middle finger's touching the palm. So I've got sort of three kind of settings. I've got a point. Okay, let's look at one more gesture. So one more gesture is good old classic finger gun. So I'm saying if my right index and my right palm are not touching, if my right middle and right palm are touching, but my right middle and my right thumb are not touching. So my thumb's somewhere up in the air. I can now say I've got a finger gun. So at this point, we could potentially create a game where you've simply got finger guns. You've got to tap your thumb down to, um, for that to actually fire. Okay, so let's go through the process again. Uh, I'm going to make sure I'm pointing. Uh, there we go. Well, so I've got a finger gun now. I've got point. I've got closed. So point, <laughs> finger gun, point and hand closed. And again, you could now start to look at different gestures. So for example, what would you need to do to sort of make that actually fire? To me, it would be add a collision detection just here. So if you've got the pointy finger and your thumb touches this part, you could fire the gun somewhere. Um, you could now also do good old rock, paper, scissors. And but for rock, paper, scissors, you might need to put a collision detection just on your thumb here to see if you're holding your hand. You could make it into a game. OK, I think that's where I'll leave you with you for part two. Um, I'm not sure it's going to come in part three. Probably some form of uh, interaction where we can actually be picking stuff and maybe even throwing things. But I shall see you in the next video.